In this tutorial, I'm going to share a handful of tips and tricks that I use frequently when I'm working in Canva. Now, Canva is one of my favorite free online graphic design sites. They also do have a paid version, but this is the free version I'm currently in. So you can go into any of this. If you've never been in Canva before, you will have fun looking through all of the layouts. But we're just going to do something basic. So let's say that you want to create a presentation. Quite a few different layouts will pop up. If you click into one of them, you will notice that it will give you quite a few different related designs. So you can actually create the whole entire presentation within Canva and the style will stay the same. So let's say we click on this. So here's this, once you're in here, obviously you can make your changes to your text and so forth. But let's say that right here, you want to have a link to your site. So let's say I, this said new online you, and I wanted to link it directly back to my site. Highlight the text and look to your upper right hand corner. Go ahead and click on link. You type your link in here. Once you are done, click apply. That will now create a hyperlink for your text. So on this, let's say you wanted to add a new page. You just go ahead and click add new page. Select another section of the layout. And it will pull over here. You could do the same thing down here. We can change this to newonlineu.com. Go ahead and highlight it. Go up to link again, type in your URL address, click apply. This document now is linked to that website. Anytime someone clicks on this, it will take them directly to this website. Okay, let's go to another different form of a layout. Let's go up to a YouTube thumbnail. I use this quite a bit. And if you look through here, some of these will say free on them, some of them don't. So a lot of people will kind of stick with the free options and they will bypass the other different layouts. But let's say you clicked on one of these. Well, that's actually a free one. Okay, let's see, let's find another one that's not free. Okay, here's a paid one, Everyday Makeup Tutorial. So if you click on this, you can see that the Canva watermark is here. A lot of people will click into it and then click immediately back out. But if you go to Uploads and you look through your images, if you don't have your images already loaded, you can upload your own images right there. But if you do have an image, if you just tap on it, you will see that it brings this over and it kind of puts it in front of it. Go ahead and delete that. That's not what you want to do. So you're pretty much going to hover it and then drag it into place. And once it takes, go ahead and let go. And the image will now be in place. This will be a completely free layout now. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's go to an Instagram post. And let's pull up something like this. Okay, you see that Canva watermark is there. We're going to do the same type of thing. I'm just going to drag the same image over. Oops. See, if you tap it, that's what happens. I'm going to drag the image over and let go. Once it takes, let's say that, oh, wow, I don't want it just showing the mouse. I actually want it to show the computer. If you double tap, just do a double click on the image, you can now drag it into place. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and click on the check mark and it will save it. Okay, let's go to another layout. I'm 
Let's go into a logo. Okay, we could pull up something basic. Now if you move this around, you can see that these elements are not grouped together. But let's say that you wanted to group them. Let me go ahead and undo that move. You pretty much just double click and select all the elements together. The group option will appear. Go ahead and click on group. And now, when you go over this, all of the elements are grouped. Let's say you want to ungroup them. Simply tap back on the element and click ungroup. Okay, so I'm going to group these back together. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to center in Canva. Canva has made this super easy. They have created some grid lines. So when you're moving an element around, you can see that this gives the vertical centering and you also have the horizontal centering. So you will know if an image or text is centered, which is so great when you're working in Canva. Okay, let's say you want to add some text to this right beneath it. Now you can obviously go over here, click on text, look through the different things, go ahead and select it. Or if you are on your canvas, just type the letter T on your keyboard and it will pull up the text element, which is really great. It's a quick way instead of having to go over here and click and click, you can just type T, nothing else, just the letter T and it will pull this up. Now Canva is something, it does save it periodically as you're working, but if I've done quite a bit of work and I'm worried that it is going to disappear, I actually frequently manually save as I'm working. So you can either come up and do it by clicking on File and Save, or if you hit Control and S, it will save it. And if you look to the top, it says All Changes Saved. So that's a quick way to make sure as you're working that you frequently save your design so you don't lose any part of the design. Okay, one last feature I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and create a blank canvas. So I'm going to delete the entire group. Okay, we're going to go up to search. We are going to create a text image. So not every letter will be included in here. Like if I type in the letter A and I do a search, nothing comes up. My son's name is actually in here. So let's say if I type in the letter E in search, the E image will pull up. You can see if it's actually for images, it will have the clouds with the little green grass right beneath it. Now let's go type in an L and search. I'll go ahead and click on it for the L to come over. And if I type in I and search, the I will come over. And see, you see the grid? It shows me that everything is aligned correctly. Now, if I go over to my uploads and I have some fun things I want to enter, we'll go ahead and enter some of these Christmas designs. You can go ahead and drag images into place. Let's see if I have one more. If I don't, I'll go ahead and use this one again. And you now have a fun little text image that you can share on social media. So these are a handful of the different tips and tricks that I use when I'm working in Canva. I hope you've enjoyed them and I look forward to hearing how you have used them in your own designs.